Could it be that the city of Troy, once thought to be nothing more than the imaginative setting of Homer's Iliad, was not only real, but also far grander and more advanced than ancient Athens and Rome? In a shocking turn of events, the recent archaeological findings have flipped the script on this legendary city's existence and its place in history. Unearthed from the cradle of the Trode region in modern-day Turkey, the city of Troy was far from the rustic, rudimentary society depicted in the ancient Greek epics. Instead, it was a sprawling metropolis, a melting pot of cultures, and a beacon of advanced civilization that shone brightly against the backdrop of the Bronze Age. Firstly, the city was significantly larger than previously believed. The ruins spread across an astounding 50 acres, dwarfing the contemporary Mycenaean palaces of Greece. It housed up to 10,000 inhabitants, a population size unheard of for that era. Troy was not a mere city. It was a metropolis, a bustling hub of activity and life. The city was not just large in size, but also incredibly advanced. Sophisticated water systems, intricate defense walls, and imposing public buildings were found scattered throughout the city, pointing to a society that was technologically far ahead of its time. The Trojans had not only mastered architectural design, but had also harnessed the power of the natural resources around them, creating a city that was self-sustaining and efficient. Furthermore, the city was a cultural melting pot. Artifacts unearthed from the site depict a rich tapestry of influences, from Hittite to Egyptian, suggesting that Troy was a hub of international trade and cultural exchange. Far from being an isolated city-state, Troy was a vibrant, cosmopolitan city that played a significant role in the ancient world's cultural and economic landscape. Perhaps most shockingly, the city's destruction, as told in Homer's Iliad, was not a one-off event. Archaeologists have discovered evidence of at least nine different layers of Troy, each representing a different period in its history. Each layer was built upon the ruins of the previous, suggesting a cycle of destruction and rebirth that spanned over 3,000 years. The city's final demise, however, was not at the hands of the Greek armies, as Homer's epic would have us believe. Instead, it was a catastrophic earthquake that sealed the city's fate. The city's impressive walls, which had withstood countless sieges and battles, were no match for the raw, destructive power of Mother Nature. The once great city was reduced to rubble, its glory forgotten until it was rediscovered centuries later. The story of Troy serves as a stark reminder of the transient nature of civilizations. Despite its grandeur and advancements, the city was ultimately brought to its knees by a force beyond its control. It also underscores the power of storytelling and myth-making in shaping our understanding of history. For centuries, the city of Troy was thought to be nothing more than a myth, a figment of Homer's imagination. It was only when the ruins were discovered and excavated that the city's true history was unveiled. In conclusion, the city of Troy, once dismissed as a mere legend, was a real and advanced metropolis that stood at the crossroads of culture, trade, and technology in the ancient world. Its existence challenges our understanding of ancient civilizations and forces us to reconsider the narratives we have been told. The secrets of Troy continue to be unveiled, shedding new light on this fascinating city and its place in history. Who knows what other shocking revelations await us as we continue to dig deeper into the past?